In this video, we will be looking at function operations, specifically arithmetic operations and domain. To find the domain of f plus g, f minus g, f times g, or f divided by g, find what numbers the individual domains have in common, that means the intersection of their domains. And then remember that the denominator of a fraction can't be equal to zero. So let's try a few. In our example, we're going to let f of x equal x squared minus 3x and g of x equal 4x plus 5. And we want to find each of the following and also give the domain. So f plus g of x is f of x plus g of x. So x squared minus 3x added to 4x plus 5. This is the same as x squared combining terms here, plus x, plus 5. So this is f plus g of x. Our domain, we want to find the individual domains and see what they have in common. Well, the domain of f of x is all real numbers. The domain of g of x is all real numbers. So our domain of our sum of the two will be all real numbers, which we show as negative infinity to positive infinity. For f minus g of x, we're going to take f of x, which is x squared minus 3x, and subtract g of x, which is 4x plus 5. We'll distribute this minus, so we have x squared, then negative 3x minus 4x is negative 7x, and then minus 5. Again, our domain for f of x is all real numbers. The domain for g of x is all real numbers. So our domain for this difference is all real numbers, which we'll show as negative infinity to positive infinity. For f times g of x, We'll take f of x, which is x squared minus 3x, and we'll multiply it by g of x, which is 4x plus 5. We'll need to use FOIL on this. So x squared times 4x is 4x cubed x squared times 5 is 5x squared. Negative 3x times 4x is negative 12x squared. And negative 3x times 5 is negative 15x. Combine our two middle terms and we have 4x cubed minus 7x squared minus 15x. Our domain, again, we're wanting to find what the two have in common. The domain of each of these functions is all real numbers. So our domain for the product of the two 
is all real numbers. For f divided by g of x, we want our f in the numerator, so x squared minus 3x, and that's divided by 4x plus 5. Now as far as simplifying this expression, uh, there's nothing we can do to make it any more simplified, so this is our quotient. Um, I do need to remember that I can't have 0 in the denominator, so 4x plus 5 cannot equal 0, which means 4x cannot equal negative 5, and x cannot equal a negative 5 fourths. And we divide both sides by 4. So our domain is all real numbers except negative 5 fourths. So we'll start at negative infinity and go up to negative 5 fourths. Don't include that in the domain. Union with negative 5 fourths up to positive infinity.